purpose of this video is to show that you have to develop speed to the ball and not try to power the ball after contact with a big finish and follow through to develop power. The moment of the collision is too short for that. Welcome to the Sports Underground. Today I'm going to be uh, talking about some just some basic lessons that uh, will help your hitting theory. In other words, it will help you to prioritize what you do. And what I mean by that is, is that we want to understand, do we want to concentrate on one type of swing or do we want to concentrate on a different part of the swing? And what we're going to find out is that the early part of the swing is actually the most important. The uh, very beginning of your swing really determines whether you uh, hit the ball hard or you don't. There's a lot of uh, different tests that are done out there and uh, if you look in the credits there'll be a website there where you can look up information. But today uh, what I want to talk about is the physics of a ball bat collision and how that will change how you teach people and how you uh, change yourself. First of all, over the years it's been taught by many actually top professional coaches that we actually hit through the ball to get power. So if the ball is hit here, you actually want to hit all the way through it and that's hitting through is where we develop our power. Uh, some coaches actually taught that you want to hit the ball deep and then actually almost yank the ball so that you're powering the ball out of the ballpark. What we find through physics is, is that the moment of a ball back collision is actually too short for that to occur. So in other words, if you're going to concentrate on hitting the ball deep, what you're going to do is actually just lower your bat speed and you're going to limit your ability to hit with power. Now, uh, there are some advantages to hitting deep and there's some disadvantages and what I want to do is just talk about those. As I'm teaching, I don't want to tell you how to do it. You're going to have to develop your own style. But you need to be uh, fully aware of all the different attributes that your style brings. The moment of a ball back collision is so short, about a thousandth of a uh, second, which means that when the ball is hit with the bat, the ball is only in contact with the bat for about a half of an inch. In other words, the bat only travels about, oh, this far. You can see it there. About that far before the ball actually leaves the bat. What this means is, is that hitting the ball here and expecting to power it, uh, a foot after the ball has left the bat, it just doesn't work. And what that does is it changes our thinking. What we want to do is develop speed to the ball, not power after the ball leaves the bat. Uh, to give you an example, if I were to say, well, I want to hit the ball with the greatest bat speed because that's going to give me the most power, the longer that I swing, the more speed that I can generate before I get to the ball. So a person wanting to generate uh, bat speed, the maximum it's going to want to hit the ball out in front more. Uh, conversely, if you want to see the ball longer and get you know, better contact, you may want to watch it a little bit longer. And so you have a trade-off there between trying to hit for power and bat speed versus hitting just for average. And so uh, you need to keep that in mind. In uh, my way of thinking, what we need to do is really just we, we want to continue to follow through, but we don't want to focus on that, that contact after we've made contact. We don't want to focus on that part of our swing as much as we want to focus on the beginning. Getting the ball from here to here where we make contact. Now a lot of people measure bat speed. And they say, well if I swing like this, if I swing linear, I get more bat speed. If I swing rotational, I get more bat speed. 
lot of times bat speeds are measured with different devices way, way out here. You know, it's after you've already developed a long throughput through your hits. But the problem with that is that you actually hit the ball here, not here. So measuring bat speed somewhere down the line doesn't help you. What does help you is formulating a plan to where you can get bat speed from the start, from your internal rotation, all the way until you hit the ball with maximum bat speed and maximum accuracy. That's what's going to help your hitting. So it just changes your focus. Now, why do we want to hit through the ball anyway? Well, we don't focus on hitting through the ball as much, but we still want to. Number one is psychology. If you get to where you think it doesn't matter, then you may actually stop your bat a little bit early and you lose uh, bat speed and power. Kind of like a 100-yard dash person not uh, finishing his last step of a race. So you want to still fully hit through the baseball and then follow through because you don't want to stop early. Uh, the second thing is, is that hitting off speed pitches, a fastball, you may hit the ball here, but because on a changeup, you may be a little bit early, if you've already extended as your maximum out here and broken your wrist, you can't hit the ball. So by hitting through the ball, we can actually keep the barrel of the bat in the, in the zone longer. So it increases our chances of hitting off speed pitches. And then the third reason for following through or hitting through the ball is we want to uh, decelerate. If we're going to put 90% effort into accelerating to the ball, that's a lot of stress on the human body. It's a very explosive movement. And to, to uh, decelerate, you're going to have to have a long deceleration period whereby you uh, can slow down your body and your muscles safely. A lot of pulled muscles, like in a sprint, or at the end of the race when people are actually slowing down. And so, in the same way with hitting or throwing, a lot of injuries occur in the deceleration phase. So, what we want to do is we want to generate maximum speed to the ball, hit through the ball, and then provide a time in which our body can slow down. What we don't want to do is we don't want to focus, focus on trying to hit the ball deep and then trying to power it out of the ballpark because a half inch after your ball hits the bat it's no longer even touching your bat a big finish a big follow-through isn't going to help you 